हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एनजियोजेनेसिस नाउ एनजियोजेनेसिस इज डिफाइंड एज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यू ब्लड वेसल्स एंड दिस प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्व्स द माइग्रेशन ग्रोथ एंड डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ द एंडोथेलियल सेल्स नाउ दीज एंडोथेलियल सेल्स आर द सेल्स व्हिच लाइन द इनर साइड ऑफ द ब्लड वेसल्स now angiogenesis is a common phenomena that means it's a normal physiological process which is involved in the formation of blood vessels normal blood vessels during your organ formation as well as cancer so let's have the look at the significance or the mechanism of angiogenesis in cancers now here you have a tumor now leave alone tumor any cell it has basically two requirements that is it requires oxygen and nutrients and both these things they are supplied by the blood so that means any tissue or organ has always requirement for blood now in tumor cells there is even more high density as compared to normal cells so therefore tumors have more requirement of nutrients and oxygen but the point is due to the very high densities most of the tumor environment is hypoxic because oxygen cannot reach each of these crevices and small areas so therefore tumors are generally hypoxic and they have increasing requirement of this nutrients and oxygen in order to grow now if you see the transformation from this to this so this means the tumor mass has grown now the moment the tumor mass grows this entails that there will be more development of or formation of more blood vessels now these blood vessels which are formed these new blood vessels which are formed they provide the tumor with nutrients as well as oxygen and therefore tumor always induces angiogenesis in order to grow now one of the factor which is involved in tumor angiogenesis is vascular endothelial growth factor now vegf or the vegf signaling is a very important inducer of the process of angiogenesis so vegf vascular endothelial growth factor is the ligand and it binds to the receptor and most of this vegf can be secreted by tumor cells sometimes it's also secreted by normal cells but mostly it is secreted by tumor cells and this creates an paracrine or a autocrine signaling loop which induces this formation of blood vessels now it has been long proposed that angiogenesis in tumors can be stopped if we can stop this vegf signaling loop and one such antibody has been developed which is known as now there have been development of angiogenesis and an angiogenesis inhibitors like monoclonal antibodies like avastin have been developed which are used to block the vegf signaling and therefore prevent the process of angiogenesis that is it for today thank you students thank you for watching please like subscribe and share and write us back at genesisacademydelhi@gmail.com thank you